Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you a delicious pasta dish with the creamiest, most delicious butternut squash sauce that we're going to top with crispy prosciutto and pine nuts and garlic and it's so divine that I think is great for any time, uh, any, any day. But it's also pretty fantastic to serve for a special occasion like a holiday or a special dinner or anything like that. What I've got here is some peeled butternut squash. Uh, you could also use fresh pumpkin if you have cooking pumpkin laying around. I always have butternut squash in the fridge at this time of the year. Um, and I'm going to add some of that into a roasting pan or a baking dish. It doesn't really matter. I've got my oven preheated to 400. Along with the squash, we are going to add some shallots just to really intensify that sweetness, let's say. But we're going to get a lot of balance with this, okay? We're going to get deep saltiness. We're going to get crunchy little garlic bits and pine nuts. We're going to get some freshness with some herbs. It's going to be pretty dynamite. I'm just going to take a couple of shallots and I am just going to, I'm not going to cut them too small because I don't want them to burn. So I'm just going to sort of quarter them and add them right in. Add some fresh thyme. And then I always really dislike having to get the thyme leaves off the stems because half the time the stems break. So I try to do it all at once and then it doesn't give. But, you know, try to be more patient than I am. I'm, a lot, I'm patient with a lot of things, just uh, not all the things. <laughs> then to this, I'm going to go ahead and add some Aleppo pepper. You can absolutely just use some red hot pepper flakes, but I'm having a love affair with Aleppo pepper right now, and so I'm going to go ahead and use it because I have it. A good pinch of salt, some of it went on the floor, good luck I guess. And then just a drizzle of olive oil. I'm not going to add garlic here because I'm going to add garlic later. Perfect into a hot oven until the butternut squash is lovely and tender and roasted, about 40 minutes or so. Um, and that's pretty much all you're gonna need to do right now, but we are gonna get a head start in crisping up some garlic and some sage, and it's just gonna be so fantastic. I'm adding some thinly sliced garlic to a cold skillet with some olive oil. And I just want that to crisp up a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some pine nuts as well. This is gonna be just a sort of sprinkle over the top. I'm also gonna fry up some sage leaves. Um, and I'm gonna also use some more garlic to like saute with olive oil and then add a splash of wine. And then we're gonna add our pureed uh, delicious squash mixture. It's gonna be fantastic. But I want a little crunch factor on top with the crispy prosciutto. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, and then I have my sage already. I'm just going to need to add this in. Once that's done, I will take it out and then I'm going to do the siege. Get your crispy bits out. Make sure you slice your garlic extremely thin if you're going to add it at the same time as the pine nuts. Otherwise, the pine nuts are going to be much crispier and golden brown and your garlic is still going to be too chewy. You can absolutely just do them separately or start with your garlic first, then add the pine nuts. But, you know, just a little tidbit. Just get them out with a slotted spoon because we need this olive oil. We're going to use this olive oil to crisp up some sage and we're also going to use it to sort of finish up our sauce later. Please stand well back because these can splatter. Watch what happens. Not terribly so, but especially if you have washed them, make sure you dry them extremely well. Okay, they don't take long to crisp up. They take seconds, but they're so worth it. I can't even tell you. All right, so my butternut squash came out of the oven. While the oven is still on and it's still hot, you're going to add your prosciutto to it on a single layer to a baking sheet that's been lined with parchment paper. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it back in until it's really nice and crispy. And then we're going to start cooking up some garlic and hot pepper flakes and parsley and just make like a delicious little base to add the butternut squash to. It's just... It's so good. It's so good. All right, let's build the sauce, which is really easy. I'm using fresh olive oil simply because I kind of burned the olive oil that when I was frying up the sage. Um, but it's okay. Adding some fresh garlic right to it, along with some fresh chopped parsley. I'm going to add it right to the olive oil because I want to create a really delicious 
flavorful base because I'm going to puree the squash. So I just want it to be super flavorful, super delicious, super pungent. So we're gonna add the parsley right in along with the garlic and with a pinch of hot pepper flakes. And I'm just gonna let those go until they, you know what it looks like when they soften and they saute and they develop some loveliness. Now, let's look at the squash. The squash may not look exciting to you. It doesn't look exciting to me at this point, but it's done its job. I'm gonna take the squash, I'm gonna add it to a blender, along with about, I would say, a half a cup or so of the boiling water that I have behind me to cook the pasta in, um, and I'm gonna puree it all together. That way, um, it's done, and I can add it straight to my skillet. So I'm gonna go do that, just because it's loud. You don't need to see that going into a blender. Come on. And then we'll move on to the next step. That looks wonderful, smells fantastic. Now here is the part that's completely optional. I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine. Why do I add white wine? Well, I like it. So that'll be the first thing. Um, but I also feel like it gives you a little bit of balance with all of that sweetness. Just a little bit of acidity uh, kind of really helps make everything kind of more Balanced, right? Now, here is our pureed butternut squash. It's really, really, really thick, right? That's what I like. It's what I want. It's what I like. I'm going to go ahead and add it right to this. Now, it's a little bit thick, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some stock, which is just water with a touch of chicken bouillon powder. You could use veggie or you can use chicken. It's up to you. Put the lid on, give it a shake, and now it's much more pourable. Because you're gonna need the stock anyway, so whether you add it here or to your pan, look at that. It's glorious, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna add just a touch more. Beautiful, it smells insane. It smells fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and just let that simmer for a bit, and then we're gonna add one more ingredient to the sauce. Now, I did add the pasta to the boiling water. I'm walking off set. It's like Nona. If you watched the OG cooking videos with Nona when we went to Italy back in like 2012 and 13, then you're well aware <laughs> of how Nona used to just walk, walk off set. I'd be like, okay, let's make sure we have everything set up and all of our ingredients. And she'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 seconds in, she's like next door. Um, getting herbs outside, and we're like, um, kind of need you to be right here. And she'd be like, okay, but wouldn't show up. Anyway, hit this with a touch of heavy cream because you know I like richness. And I'm just gonna let this bubble together. I've added my rigatoni to the boiling water, and this is just gonna hang out over medium low heat. And in the meantime, I am going to shred some pepper jack. And I did say pepper jack because here's the thing about this particular pasta sauce. I love the combination of like sweet and creamy, a little bit of acidity in the background from the wine, the saltiness of the prosciutto and the heat and cheesy pullness of the cheese all together is phenomenal. So I'm gonna tidy up, grate my cheese, pasta's cooking, and then we'll sort of meet everything together at the last minute. Just taking the pasta right from the pan to the sauce. Cook it a couple minutes shy of al dente because I'm gonna give this a couple minutes all together to sort of cook all together, get to know each other for that sauce to really thicken and adhere to the pasta. And it does that by just literally cooking together for a couple minutes. And it, this is so good. The sauce is so delicious. I can't even begin to tell you. You could probably just stretch it with some stock and add a touch more cream and make it a soup. And it is so good. Like I said, it's got a very good balance of like sweetness, spice, garlicky flavor, and then that nice note from the wine kind of brings it all together. I want some black pepper because red pepper flakes and black pepper hit you in completely different areas in terms of your notes, and I like them both. Give everything a good stir. Like that. Oh, that's 
fantastic. Shower it with some parmigiano. You could leave it here. You could absolutely leave it as is, but I do love the addition of some cheese because it gets just that cheesy, delicious pull and it all melts, which I love. And then we are gonna to top it with our crispy bits because I am a fan of texture. Now, all you gotta do here is just sort of keep it on low, put the lid on five minutes, and that cheese will melt and be completely dynamite. We have our crispy bits, which honestly, you can skip if you want to. I just think it's so nice to have some additional texture, the crispy sage and the squash together. They're a magical combination. It's like tomato and basil, you know what I mean? They're a magical combination together and then the crispy prosciutto just adds that note of saltiness that I think this dish desperately needs because the sauce is so sweet from the squash. It's fantastic. So I'm just gonna clean up and then we plate and then we serve. Look at that gloriousness. Now, it's making my mouth water. You can serve this right out of the pan, which is what I would do. Oh my goodness, it's, you just wait. This is just begging to be served for a special occasion. It just is and you shouldn't let it down, okay? You can, and I would, serve it right in the pan with your crispy bits, your prosciutto pieces, which are crispy and delightful and fantastic, your few pieces of sage, like so, like that, and then just a little rain, and then a little pep. Look at that, just look at her, okay? She is the moment, she is beautiful, she is steamy, she is cheesy, she is sweet, she's got attitude, she is me on a plate, okay? And it's just, it deserves, it deserves all the hype. It's, I'm telling you, just wait. It's honestly, I can't, okay? I have no words. This is so delicious, I'm telling you. Screams fall, <laughs> the cheese pull just gets me every time. Screams fall, screams special occasion, screams comfort food. It's all the things that I love in one. You have to make this. Go to lartinthekitchen.com for the written recipe. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.